welcome to this video about the anomalies that I've heard in Abba's song, When All Is Said and Done. Uh, so, to start with, uh, a few general notes about it. The, um, the song appears to be, according to Rudolf, who seems to remember reading somewhere, that this was one of the three Abba songs on the visitors that were recorded in analogue rather than digital. May account for some of the anomalies on it, I don't know. Um, or perhaps maybe account for the type of anomalies that are on it, because uh, the digital ones, um, as you'll have heard if you watch Cassandra and that sort of thing, uh, you'll find that there are a lot of crackles and dropouts and things like that. So maybe um, the absence of dropouts on um, when all is said and done uh, might well be down to the fact that it was an analogue recording. Um, so, uh, <coughs> as well as that, uh, the stereo positioning doesn't seem to have been altered um, for the more Abergold version. It seems to be the same as the Polydor edition that I also listened to when I was making this video. Um, and uh, in Out of Phase, it sounds absolutely brilliant. Uh, very strange, especially in the introduction. Um, there the, some guitar counter melodies, which are obviously there when you play it normally, but um, Out of Phase, you hear how wonderful they are and how well constructed they are. Um, similarly, uh, some of Agnetta's harmonies are absolutely brilliant and they really come to the fore. Um, I think they must have double or triple tracked trip, triple tracked Frida's voice on this one because um, she's quite prominent as well, uh, or her vocal is quite prominent out of phase. Um, uh, although there's one odd curious thing, um, some of the synth, the synth sequenced lines um, seem to knock the song off beat slightly. Uh, some pretty um, heavy. Um, beats that seem to be um, rather odd in, in their rhythm. Um, if you try and tap along with it, you'll find that it's quite hard um, out of phase. In phase, it doesn't seem to show at all. It just seems to be um, like sort of uh, sort of octave quaver patterns, but um, it's, it's, it just seems to be a bit odd out of phase. Anyway, that done and said, as it were, if you pardon the pun, let's get on with the anomalies. Right, firstly, at seven seconds, you can hear a slight knocking on the left-hand side. Um, it sounds like um, someone's knocked a guitar with a plectrum or a finger or something like that, or at least knocked the wooden body of a guitar. Uh, it's very quiet, but you'll hear it. There's an odd shuffly noise on the right-hand side um, as, um, uh, at 36 seconds. Now, at 40 seconds in phase, and at 42 seconds out of phase, you can hear two edits in the phrase, fly instinctively. Okay, there are quite a few anomalies here that are gonna be dealt with in pairs, um, other than the last one. Um, at 57 seconds and one minute, one second, there are two edits which take us into the second verse. Um, the first one is more obvious in phase. Um, in the second drum hit, it's not complete there. Um, they've obviously, uh, they put a snare on as being our sort of introduction into the more upbeat part of the song, um, which is fine. The next beat is strange. Um, and at one minute, one second, out of phase, there's like a dull sort of clicky sound. Uh, it's quite a quiet one, but it's there nonetheless. Now, um, in the word done, uh, at one thirty second seconds, um, this is just as the choir are about to come in, um, they seem to mask Frida singing the word done, um, and I wonder if that is because they, there's a join there, but it's a guess. Um, and at 1.41 in phase, there's a very obvious edit in the instrumental solo. At 
154, 155, probably the cleverest edit in the song. Um, and it's, there's, there's like a sort of warping sound is the only um, way I can think of to describe it. Just before um, the song's instrumentation cuts back for It's So Strange When You're Down. Um, there's a couple of anomalies in the drums um, which go by without you thinking about it in um, in phase but out of phase you can hear that there's um, a, a, a drum beat which changes timbre, a, a bass drum which has been quite prominent out of phase um, suddenly changes timbre or changes like a tone quality as it were if you want to call it that um, and then two very loud cymbals now as I've mentioned before when you get these um, sort of cymbal beats and, and snare beats that seem to stick out it is because they've been overdubbed um, and it is to join the um, the second verse the third verse very cleverly done can't hear it at all really um, in phase but you certainly can out of phase another pair of anomalies here at 211 and 213 out of phase uh, well, certainly out of phase at 2.11, you can't really hear it in phase, but out of phase you can hear some sort of plinky noises. They sound like pizzicato strings, except that there's no rhyme or reason to them being there, um, and they're very odd. Um, now at 2.13 seconds, um, out of phase and in phase, you can hear, um, uh, it sounds like a, a a tablet being dropped into, not a laptop tablet, a sort of pill tablet, being dropped into a glass of water and splashing. Well, that's what it sounds like, but it obviously isn't, but anyway. Okay, and the final pair of anomalies uh, in When All Is Said and Done are for um, uh, the last line, which seems to have been um, stuck on as it were on both repetitions of the last line um so uh <coughs> sorry um at two minutes 18 seconds very obviously in phase uh but you can also hear it out of phase uh there's an edit and at 232 seconds as well um out of phase um you can hear uh, where those two final lines have been sort of stuck on as it were and those are all the anomalies that I can find in When All Is Said and Done. I'm not going to do the way old friends do, because I somehow don't think it's fair, um, because it was a live recording. Um, suffice to say that it has been doctored. Um, certainly, if you watch the ABBA Live DVD, it seems that the accordion accompaniment is slightly different. Um, whether that was because of different performances, whether they altered it on different performances, or whether they did really doctor it, um, prior to it being released on Super Trooper, I don't know. Um, but that's it really. Um, I might revisit Dancing Queen because when I first started doing these, I hadn't really made any videos for YouTube. I was a bit nervous and a bit sort of, um, I suppose, sceptical about whether or not anybody would even want to listen to anomalies about ABBA records. Well, a lot of people have. Um, uh, joined in the fun really and um, <laughs> the fun <laughs> if that's what you want to call it um, so yeah thank you for being companions um, I'll still put other other content on YouTube but I will revisit Dancing Queen at some point um, I don't know whether or not I'll do any other albums as anomalies or well, I might I might do specific songs if people ask me but that's about it all right so thank you for uh, watching this series and the Abba Gold Anomalies series as well um, and bye bye